Wall Street economists see the Fed continuing to cut interest rates after July's first move lower in 11 years. UBS sees at least three more cuts ahead, while Morgan Stanley is indicating a possible return to the near zero rates that prevailed from 2008 to 2015. Here today with me uh, is Frank Holmes, CEO of U.S. Global Investors. Uh, Frank, welcome to the show. It's great to be back with you. Yeah, happy to have you back. Happy to be back in studio. And my question to you is, are near zero rates a possibility here? Absolutely. Uh, you've got to really be focused on Europe. Europe is such a basket case of taxation and regulation that they can't get their economy going, so they've gone to zero interest rates. In fact, Denmark is paying you to take out a mortgage. Uh, you have negative real rates in Germany, and they just will not streamline their ex excessive regulations. So I think that that's the real big factor. Besides the trade war, really it's Europe. And now with this trade war, it gets elevated to much a higher level. So America has to drop rates to be competitive. And we're still going to have substantially, even with another 50 basis points cut, substantially higher rates that are in Europe. All right. Well, let's see what that means uh, for gold. You know, I joked on Twitter that I missed a huge week last week. I was on vacation uh, when gold uh, surpassed the 1500 mark. So let's talk about that for a second. Uh, what did you think when you saw that, Frank? When are you going away again? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I need to go away for a year I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you. <laughs> Everyone missed you so much. No, but what's really important here for investors is that short term, we can easily get a correction. We use the standard deviation statistical moves. And that means that over 60 trading days, gold is up two and a half standard deviations looking past the past five years. But when we look over the one-year rolling standard deviations, we still are not up one sigma. Mm -hmm. So we can easily pull back and then ratchet up to higher levels. Okay, so don't panic if you see a pullback, basically. Buy on the dips. All right. Well, gold performance, as you're aware, Frank, has now surpassed the S&P 500. So do you think all this is telling us that markets are pricing in an imminent crash? No, 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 no. The, the largest economy in the world is America. And it's the only president in the world that looks at the stock market every day as a barometer of how well he's doing. Now, in my 30 years living in America, I have never met or seen or watched a president that is basically his litmus test is how well is the stock market doing and the market's going to do well because he knows that the market is doing well, the economy is doing well, he's doing well. And also interesting, Frank, is that uh, banks like Goldman Sachs that, you know, were bearish on gold for so long have uh, now upgraded their forecast for the metal. Um, Goldman Sachs now seeing 1575 an ounce in three months. Not that huge of a move from here. It's a possibility. No, they're always going to be understated. But clearly that means it could easily go another $150 because uh, Goldman Sachs has always understates any type of action in gold. Uh, so I think it's more important to look at other people that really understand gold as an asset class. Finally, Frank, want to get your thoughts on uh, the anti-government protests in Hong Kong uh, right now. Should global investors be more concerned about the fallout from these protests than the actual U.S.-China trade war? Well, I think it's, it's important to look at it, but what you also must recognize is that the other countries now are dropping their rates and they really are backing up America against China. Southeast Asia, when you take a look, it's very subtle and silent. So there is a big anti-China, and I think that China is quite embarrassed by this thing that's taking place in Hong Kong. Uh, so I think it's a great test of the, of the sort of the character, the moral character of China. All right, Frank Holmes, thank you so much for, for joining us today. It's great to be here, especially with gold where it is. And it does go gold. It's going to trade higher. A lot of our investors will be happy uh, to hear that. Uh, Frank Holmes, thank you. And thank you for watching. We will be back tomorrow.